Chana. <laughs>
listening to somebody explain their system, work through how to go through the website, doing this, doing that, doing that. And I'm just like, okay, you made me sit through this two hour training webinar with an actual person. It's not like a video you can skip through. No, they, I can talk to them, they can talk to me. Sit through that for two hours, but then not to give me any assignments whatsoever, okay? What else? Okay, so, but the other three, I'm just talking about the main three, okay? So, first, let me tell you how these three works. Okay, one of them, it's basically companies say, yo, somebody owe me money, go to their house and give them this letter stating they owe us money. And that's what one of the companies basically is. They'll send me a form, they say, I, excuse my vernacular, they say, I, let's go to this crib over here. I'll go, you go to that crib over there, knock on their door. If they answer, we'll give you $25. If they don't answer, take the letter to the door, we'll give you $20. Basically, that's the gif. However, they want you to take pictures, like take pictures of the house, take pictures of any cars in the driveway to let them know, yeah, somebody was home. Take pictures of any for sale signs in the yard, meaning like, yo, they moved. They ain't there no more. They lied to us, they ain't let update us on inf any information. Just like that, house, address of the house, like the like little number box to make sure you actually went to the wrong, uh, the right address speaking, going to the wrong address. I actually did that yesterday and went to the wrong address. I put, I had to go to this address and the house next door is the one I went to instead of the right address. So I had to go back and put another letter on the door because they still didn't answer. But this company is actually not basically easy. It's just like a simulator, I go to our house, take a letter to the door, I'm done, take a few pictures, come back, Send the pictures to them, good, easy peasy. Payments range anywhere from, I wanna say anywhere from 10 to 40 bucks. The reason why I say I wanna say because like two days ago, they sent me like four assignments. And it was like, yo, all four of these assignments are $6. And I'm like, not all together. Each individual assignment is $6. I'm like, no, you started me off paying me like $15. Now all of a sudden these three assignments is $6? What's with that? It turns out they had a new insurance company that they that was coming to join their company. So of course they discounted the rates to keep them, to show them like, yay, come work with us and we'll send agents out for you and everything. So they, they cut us our payment lower. And I was like, well, guess what? I ain't doing those assignments. Cause you have, since you're a contractor, you don't actually work for them. You're an employee. You're not required to do anything. I declined those jobs. No, okay, I declined three of the four jobs. Cause one of them I was actually doing a, a loan signing and literally a block away with that address for one of those six dollars. And I was like, might as well get, that's what, a smoothie from Smoothie King? Yeah, I'll take that six bucks. Now mind you, this company, it was just sign up, here's assignments, go for what you know, cool. This other company, they were like, okay, we want you to do a background check. All three wanted a background check, but this one said, I want you to do a background check and I want you to do a drug test. I'm like, a drug test? I don't know if I'm going to know. But yeah, it was like, okay, a drug test. So went to the nearest, now mind you, I ain't paid for none of this. They had paid for everything, signed me up. It was like, be at this place at so and so o'clock. We'll pick the one closest to your area, go do the drug test. They send us, well, it's a urine sample for the drug test. Go do it, come back. When it passed, you're in the clear. Here's assignments, and that's what they did. Okay, so this one is basically the same gist, but they both do commercial and, like the other one was just focused on like people who owe money, banks, residential people, you go to people's houses. This one, on the other hand, it was more like there's commercial and there's residential, but you're going for like liability reasons. Not so much, I think this company was, what was this company called? National Insurance Services, something like that, right? So they're going for liability. Okay, this person getting ins insurance on their home, go make sure like if there's bars on the windows, go see if their concrete is cracked in the driveway, that kind of stuff. Or go to this business and see like, do they have exit signs and, and security systems, stuff like that. That one, and then also they want you to do something called diagrams. Literally draw the shape of the home. Basically the perimeter or the business, what does the shape of the home do? It's a little bit more tedious and annoying, but it pays just a slight bit more. Not a lot, like 
actually, his average is about the same. The assignments are, none of the assignments are under 20 bucks. Anywhere from 20 to like 60 bucks for these assignments, right? So I guess that's a good thing. And then the last one is kind of like a combination of the two. Like, yeah, you can go get letters, but then also you go take pictures of people's house. So basically, what what kind of money I make? That's what you want to know. Okay, so for I've done I've been doing this for two weeks now, and it's cool. I say, eh, it's cool. You can make some money. Okay, so for one of them, I made the ones where I just go to people's houses and put letters on the door, take a few pictures. That one where I don't actually have to be in actual contact with anybody if they don't answer the door or if I just like wanted to stick letter to the door and dip because it's a letter drop off so they just have you stick the letter on the door and dip. You don't have to contact or talk to anybody or make appointments, none of that. Speaking of which, the other companies, sometimes they'd be like, hey, to go do the inspection for this insurance, I mean for this business, call them first and set up an appointment basically, hey, I'm gonna be there between the hours of like 10 and three to come inspect and they'll be like, okay, so for that company where I just post letters to people's doors and take pictures of like if they owe something, for instance, say one of them, they owed money on a Harley Davidson. So they want me to go bring a letter to the door saying, technically I'm not supposed to know what they owe um, or sometimes in the letter they put what they owe, whatever, like one dude owed like $9,000. It's like, dang, on a Harley Davidson, a motorcycle. I lived in a nice neighborhood, so it's just like, why you didn't pay off this ride? You live in like this big old mansion house, but whatever, times are hard, I get it. So I take the letters to the door, and then they want you to take pictures of the actual vehicle, like if the Harley Davidson's in the driveway, take pictures of them, that way they know you still got the property, and take pictures, make sure they didn't sell it. However, they also ask if there's a garage, because people might, knowing they old folks, keep the car or vehicle or whatever collateral in the garage so that way it don't get repealed or whatever so yeah so for that company i made in two weeks of doing it mind you uh they assigned me a total of 15 assignments i did i didn't i declined four and did 11. grand total i made like 220 bucks now, mind you, I'll show you right here. Mind you, one of them, the one I did most recently, isn't on there because I, it would have been on there, but then I went to the wrong house. So I had to go back the next day. And the next day is actually the next pay period because they pay you like every two weeks. The first through the 15th is one, what all the assignments you did, they pay you. Second through, or the 15th through the 30th is the other half of the assignments. So they pay you like a two week basis. Um, I did like 11 assignments, which was about 200 just for those 11, or the first 10. The last one was 20 bucks. So the first 10, I made $201. And uh, te these assignments don't take you long at all to do. You drive up to their house, you be there not even five minutes, click, 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 tape to the door, and you out of there. So. Grand total, if I combine all the time and efforts it took to drive to these places, two hours worth of my time combined, and I made $200, well, over $200, so win-win. I know you're like, 11 assignments, not this was out through two weeks of uh, work. I did this, weave this in and out through like loan signs and notary work and other stuff that I don't wanna tell you about. But yeah, that was just on that one company. Now mind you, you gotta pay for gas. So yeah, but that's a typical thing that I have to normally pay for. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I'll deduct 50 bucks for just gas because I also do loan assignments. So it's not fair to just say, oh, it all, I wasted all that gas just for those assignments. So let's say 50 bucks. So made a profit of a hundred and, hundred and fifty, hundred and seventy one dollars for that. The other company you'll see right here is show I only made 50 or uh, 50 bucks or 49 bucks. Really, there's four other assignments that you don't see, so that's actually another two point three thing. Total about $220 on these assignments. And then this last one though, this national whatever, whatever, madame, blah, 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 the one that had me do the drug test and all that stuff. I did like a four assignments on that bug, but they don't show you how much the assignments were. 
how much they plan to pay you. And I'm kind of feeling like it's shady because I'm like every other company show, well, the other companies that I work with, they show me the price. Where's your price? Like how much were these assignments? How much are you gonna pay me? How much were I plan to get made? I don't like that. They, they, mm, I feel like you could just all of a sudden be like, yo, matter of fact, you'll see right here, it just say zero, zero, zero. And I'm like, I ain't doing this for free. So I ain't doing that, but another assignment. So you pay me what you owe me. Pay me what you owe me. You feel me? Now, mind you, these assignments aren't like, oh, they give you assignment. It's due tomorrow or it's due in two days. It can literally be like, oh, it's due. Say today is the 16th. Oh, it's due the first of next month it's not something you have to rush to do so that's cool uh that's the reason what reason why i'm able to like like schedule it around all my loan signing appointments at the same time i don't know if this is something i wanted a side hustle which this is a cool side hustle i might stick with the one where it's just letters to the door that's easy but these other ones where they actually have to, I gotta go into the business, maybe even interview or talk with the, the uh, interviewed ones are, they pay you more like 15, $20 more to be like, ask the owner or the business, ask them questions like, hey, have you had any recent update on your plumbing or you, did you have a new roof anytime soon? I don't wanna do all that. I, I talk with people enough. I don't like talking to people. I don't even like talking to y'all like that. You feel me? Joking, but uh what else what else what else oh the ones with the sticking letters on the door you'll notice i'll put that back on the screen you'll notice like oh she made 40 dollars on just that one hold up hold up wait a minute slow down yeah i made 40 dollars on that one but what it don't show you is that i went to that location three times so what they'll do is be like hey we got an assignment for you go to this location but we require you go there three times only if the person did not answer your knock on the door the first time or the second time. Sometimes they'd be like, we only require you to go to the location twice. Sometimes they're like, you're only required to go to the location once. But that one particular one, he was, she was like, first time you go, we'll pay you $20. If you have to go a second time because they didn't get answered, we'll pay you $30. If you have to go a third time because they didn't answer, we'll pay you $40. So it was like, eh, lucky it wasn't far, but still it's just like, eh. So don't get a call, oh, $40 on it. But that's something literally you can knock out like that. It ain't, it don't take no time to do. So this actually is a pretty cool side hustle. But you gotta like driving around a little bit more than like you normally would, even with loan signings, because it's literally all over the place, mind you. You do, when doing this, you get to pick your own like zip codes. You'll sign in and be like, I'm willing to drive to these zip codes, period. Don't give me anything outside of these zip codes. And they'll be like, okay, cool. Now, even if they give you something within your zip code, but the price is low and you're like, yo, I'll work, do it in my zip code, but I ain't going no, going like driving 20 minutes for $6. You can forget that. That don't even cover gas. You can literally be like, nope, I don't want it. Or yes, I'll take it, but for $20, like you can upcharge and be like, yeah, I ain't doing that less $20. And what will happen, they'll be like, I right, thanks, we'll find somebody else. And nine times out of 10, there's nobody in your area. So what they'll do is be like, yeah, we'll pay you the 20 bucks. Don't be like, be like I ain't driving this far for 60, because they ain't gonna pay you $60, $50 for one assignment. So you can push the range, like if they charge you like $10 and you're like, no, push it to 15. If they charge you 15 and you're like, mm, I want more, push it like to 20. Like push it up five, $10. Don't push it up out like, cause they ain't, it ain't happening, no. What else, what else, what else? That's kind of it on that. So yeah, this, this whole field inspection thing is a viable thing. You can actually make money, it's legit. I do know uh, I was hearing something about like, oh, real, uh, real what do you call it? Uh, residential inspections is something you want to stay away from. Uh, focus on commercial because commercial is where the money is. Uh, I'm not really seeing that big of a difference. And honestly, and they was like, I don't know, maybe they was talking about mortgage type stuff because I haven't dealt with any mortgage stuff. I've done residential properties, but nothing that actually deals with mortgage. They were saying like, you might want to get insurance uh, that way you won't be liable for any mistakes you made. Now, mind you, my company already has insurance, so I didn't have to go out and get insurance. I paid like, 
I don't know, 20 bucks a month just for my company to have its own like little general liability insurance. So that was no skin off my back, but I, maybe you want insurance, maybe you don't. It's up to you to figure that out if you ever tried it. The companies, it was one of the companies is called National Insurance Services Inspection. The other one is called Sultan Inspection Bureau. And the last one is called Sand castle, something of the other. So, those the other ones I signed up. The one I say that sucks and trash is called Spectrum. Okay, if you're watching Spectrum, I don't mean trash, but I mean you know, trash because I haven't gotten a single assignment from you. So what's going on? It's cool though. The other three keep me busy-ish. Honestly, I got about a good. 15 assignments and like the letter ones I, I knocked those out but the others I got about 15 assignments just sitting there and I'm just like I don't want to do them <laughs> so I might not do them because you know I'm not required to do anything so yeah it's something I might like do here and there just like a little extra pocket in my cash on the way here or there so yeah Field inspections, is that a viable thing that you can actually do or make money on? It sure is, baby. So do you, sign up, get your things together, stay away from Spectrum, and uh, you know, have fun with it. Make you some extra little money, honey. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm outie.